We start with news out of the Capitol region tonight after incoming Senate Minority Leader John Flanagan announced his plans to return to rehab and miss the first part of session. Because of this, a familiar face to our region will be filling in. Our Capitol correspondent Morgan Mackay has the details. Former Senate Majority Leader and now incoming Senate Minority Leader John Flanagan sent out a statement today saying that he is seeking help for his alcoholism. According to Flanagan's spokesperson, Scott Reef, Flanagan has been in treatment since before Christmas and is expected to return January 21st. This means Flanagan will miss at least the first two weeks of session. This is the second time Flanagan has publicly announced that he will be receiving help for his alcoholism. The first time was in 2017. Senator Catherine Young of Western New York competed with Flanagan for the Senate minority position, but ultimately lost by a few votes. She, however, released a statement today saying it takes great courage and strength to recognize when an addiction has a dangerous grip on one's life and to seek outside help in combating the problem. I commend Senator Flanagan for bravely choosing that path. Incoming Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart Cousins also sent a statement calling Flanagan a friend and saying, I respect John's candor and his recognition that he must take care of his health. In Flanagan's absence, Senator Joe Griffo from the Utica area will be overseeing the Republican conference. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Morgan Mackay. Now, as we just heard Morgan say, Senator Joe Griffo will be stepping into that role as acting minority leader of the state Senate. Griffo tells Eyewitness News he respects and supports Flanagan's decision to seek treatment and that he's praying for his recovery during this time. But with the legislative session just starting back up, this is a critical time for Albany lawmakers, especially ahead of Governor Cuomo's upcoming State of the State address and budget announcement. We have a number of issues that we have to address. First and foremost, we're dealing with procedural, operational, administrative decisions that have to be made, people on committees, uh, which are all important to do the business of the Senate ultimately. Beyond that, we will be determining as a conference, uh, and obviously I would have had a voice in that, uh, but I will now have an opportunity to lead the discussion as to uh, what our uh, posture will be, what our strategy will be, what uh, positions we will take and advance and advocate. Griffo says although the Republicans are now in the minority party across the board, he remains hopeful that their voices will continue to be heard, especially on issues like economic opportunity and affordability.